uh, watch this they are saying that there is a tcp connection and host a is sending a large file to host b from a to b there is a tcp connection that is what they are saying and the two ends are having uh, 10 mbps and the two ends are 10 milliseconds apart which means uh, the propagation delay between both of them is 10 milliseconds therefore 20 milliseconds is the round trip time okay connected by a 1 gbps bandwidth is given as 1 gbps link Assume that they are using 1000 byte packets to transmit the file. So the total file is transmitted in terms of 1000 byte packets. For the simplicity, ignore acknowledgement packets. Don't consider what happens for the acknowledgement bytes and all. At least how big would the window have to be for the channel utilization to be uh, greater than 80%. If you want 80% utilization, then at least 80% utilization, then how big should your uh, window size B. So first let's see what do they mean by 80% efficiency. So given time is 20 milliseconds. In 20 milliseconds how many bytes I could have sent over a link which is having 1 Gbps. How many bits. So if the bandwidth is 1 Gbps which is 10 power 9 and if round trip time is this much then round trip time multiplied with bandwidth will give me how many maximum bits I could send in 1 RTT. If I have to send these many bits in 1 RTT, then I should have that much big window, isn't it? Therefore, for 100% utilization, the window size should be these many bits. But they are saying that utilization need not be 100%, it has to be 80%. Then, what is it? 80% is 80 by 100. So, this should be the size of the window in bits. So, that the utilization is 80%. This is the window size in bits. Right? Now let's see uh, what is the window size in uh, terms of packets. So if this is the number of, uh, if this is the window size in bits, then window size in packets will be, take this entire number, which means 20 into uh, 10 power minus 3 into 10 power 8 into 80 by 100, take this entire number and divide it with size of the packet. Now size of the packet is given as 1000 bytes, they have, they have mentioned it somewhere right, size of the packet is given as, um, assume that they are using yes, 1000 byte packets, therefore size of the packet is 1000 bytes, then how many packets that, that you want to send, so 1000 bytes means 1000 into 8 bits, therefore this is the window size in number of uh, bits. So, if, I mean number of packets. So, you, if you calculate it, I think you will get it around 2000 packets. So, how did I calculate it? For 100% efficiency, you should fill the complete channel for how long? 20 milliseconds. In 20 milliseconds, how many bits can I send? That depends on the bandwidth. Therefore, RTT into bandwidth is going to give me what is the maximum number of bits I could send. Therefore, if you want 100% utilization, then your window size should be exactly equal to that. But then we want only 80% utilization. That is why I am multiplying with 80%. Right? And now after getting these many bits as the window size, I am dividing the window size with the packet size. Therefore, I can get the window in terms of the packets. The reason is, they have asked us how big would the window size in packets. So since they have asked us in packets, I am doing this. Right? Therefore, it has to be greater than 2000 packets. If it is 2000 packets exactly, we are going to get 80% utilization. If it is more than 2000 packets, we get more than 80%. The question is at least how big, which means uh, they are asking minimum. So minimum is 2000 and after beyond that anything is fine, right? So the answer is 2000 packets. You do